Welcome to another product feedback video. In this video, we've got a hands on and a brief overview of the Nex 3 by Sony. Uh, inside the box, you get the manual and all the relevant information, along with a driver disk to install the software. This camera uses a APS C sensor, which is the same CMOS sensor used on some SLRs, which gives the capability of very good low light situations. As you can see, the camera comes with an attachable flash, which is a different approach to what other Micro Four Third camera developers are doing. Along that, you also have a Sony lithium ion battery, power cable, and neck strap to carry the camera around with you. A USB cable to hook it up to your computer. This kit which we're looking at comes with two lenses. You first get a 16mm wide angle lens which is specifically designed for low light situations. As you can see it looks very very nice and the actual connection is a full metal so it's a good quality uh, lens connection. Some SLRs or bigger cameras use a plastic one which is a little bit cheaper. You also get a uh, I believe that plastic thing is used when you're shooting um, in low, in bright areas so you don't get a glare on the actual lens. Now the camera straight away you notice has got a huge screen on the back and it looks really really simple doesn't look uh, that difficult to operate and the silver with black looks really really nice the quality of build feels very strong as you can see here the lens attaches as well the other lens is a 18 to 55 mil uh, f3.5 to f5.6 uh, the screen is adjustable so you can move it around depending on what angle you're looking at it which is a nifty feature to have on a camera this sort of size the flash connects up to the top you flip open a little plastic lever and the lens just the flash just clicks in like that this camera uses a 14.2 megapixel sensor it's uh, quite high. You can actually use it for uh, HD videos as well. It has the capability of doing 720p. And when we turn it on, you straight away notice the extremely good screen that they're using on the back. It's very bright and very crisp. Now, just for those interested, I'll give you a quick overview of the menu. As you can see here, it's nothing um, resembling an SLR at all. It's quite uh, orientated specifically for this camera you got a whole bunch of different shoot modes. This camera is more targeted at people looking for a camera that's between an SLR and between a compact point and shoot, but they don't want that uh, complete control and they want it to be a little bit simpler and easier to use. This camera here gives that uh, range a camera to buy or that market to buy. It's a 14.2 as I said before and you can change the different photo resolutions around, uh, change the color, ISO and everything like that on the actual camera. The camera, because of the sensor, I believe a lot of people will actually start looking at this. But what they've mainly done is that they've made a lot of the normal creative shots that you have to do manually in an SLR as a preset. So I'll show you in a sec when it goes back to the screen. See how it says background defocus there on the right hand side of the screen? It's a preset that they have where when you're shooting a macro uh, photo that the object that you're shooting is in focus where the background is nicely blurred. So they're trying to make it sort of very easy to use, very simple and the entry to sort of in the future possibly maybe going to an SLR or those people already have an SLR but they don't want to carry it around with them. I actually like this camera. I had a brief play with it. I'll have to take some more photos and videos and see how good the actual quality is on the actual uh, photo side and video side but from a cosmetic point of view and a feature point of view the camera looks uh, very neat and very sophisticated definitely and I'll give you a brief look over it again so on off up the top zoom in and out and the flexible uh, screen at the back if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.